Last week we sailed overnight from Great Abaco to Grand Bahama. After a good night's rest and some provisioning, we decide to move the boat east into an abandoned development project. We have it all to ourselves and it's a perfect spot to meet my brother. Easing inlet where we brought the boat in. Okay, my brother has arrived. He's in there eating an apple. <laughs> and we are about to leave this beautiful area and start heading toward West End. We actually took the opportunity while we were here to visit the Coral Vita Coral Farm. They grow coral in tanks. I'm Natalie and this is James and this is our home, Zephyr. We have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board. Meet Flint and Kira, two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. All right, we have moved around into this other little basin further down the Grand Bahama Island. And look at it, I mean, it's amazing. It was a bit of a tricky entrance there. It shallowed down quite a bit because it's quite open to the swell. But now that we're in, it's beautiful and it's like, what, 15 feet? Well, now we're at 10. Oh, okay, <laughs> now we're in 10. You were at 15, you were right. Anyway, yeah. uh, we're gonna be turning right in here and there's a little anchorage there and then i'm picking up my brother from that sailing club just there so we'll pick him up tonight so yeah let's get the hook down This is perfect spot. I love it in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is perfection, hey? <laughs> wow. Anyway. Um, yeah, so my brother literally will take the dinghy to that little sailing club and um, that's where we will go and pick him up from. So it's perfect. It couldn't have worked out any better. No, it's all gone pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. We are going to go for a little bit of an explore around here. Um, we're going to take these guys to the beach. It's super hot, so it'll be good for them to get in for a swim. And um, yeah. Might go and check out the sail, the little sailing club, just to make sure that we can land the dinghy there this afternoon. And that's it, really. Okay, let's go. Well, we are probably at the nicest place we have been to in the Bahamas this season. It's a secret spot. We're actually not going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> Nat, don't say it like that. Just say it. Just don't say it. It's a secret spot, and. We just happened across it. We could not believe what we stumbled on here. But look at this miles of beautiful beach. This amazing inlet where we brought the boat in. And it's just stunning. You got clear water, you got coral reefs. There's no trash on the beach. It's just incredible. But yeah, dogs have had a great time and we're gonna head back to the boat because Nat's brother's arriving shortly. Okay, my brother has arrived. He's in there eating an apple. <laughs> and we are about to leave this beautiful area and start heading toward West End and then over to the islands. And yeah, so that's our plan for today. We actually took the opportunity while we were here to visit the Coral Vita Coral Farm where they do coral gardening, they grow coral in tanks, and then they outplant them out in reefs. So it's a really cool project because our coral reefs are dying around the world. And here in the Bahamas, they actually are 
helping the coral reefs by putting them in tanks, growing them from tiny little micro fragments, and then they are restoring the coral reefs. So they are replanting those corals after about a year being on land in the tanks. And then these corals have been doing really, really well back in their own environment. So we just went and did a tour on that and it was so interesting. Wasn't it James? It was you awesome. loved it. Yeah, it was excellent. Um, and especially me being a marine biologist, I was so, ex so excited to see that. I've always been so interested in um, coral restoration. It's kind of like the future for corals, I think. Especially with everything that they're facing, that all the odds are against them, essentially. So, and now there's my brother giving them apple, which they love. Don't give them the seeds. <laughs> okay. James is putting the dingo up. were all the extra jerry cans that we filled up in West Palm Beach before we came over um, and they obviously come in handy when you're out here we haven't had to refuel at all since we've been in the Bahamas and I don't think we should have to refuel until we go back so I agree to the US that is so here we go These are really good jerry cans. We've run into a lot of people who get really cheap dodgy cans. These break off, they crack, these stems fall apart. We bought these in St. Martin, we bought the good ones. We paid a lot of money. We paid a lot of money for them, but we've had them for five years, and although they might look a little dirty, they are in perfect condition. In two years, they sat on our foredeck. Um, now they sit in our hold, because... Yeah. Well, we haven't done any land of crossings in a while, have we? No, I <laughs> so. Nice. This is where they fuel up. Is it? Fueling, yeah. Wow, so many. Look at that sailboat going between them. Don't go between them. captains. So where did we leave off? I don't remember, but 
update is we're gonna pull into this abandoned development here just at the well just literally it's right at West End just before you around the corner and anchor up a lot of people anchor there it's a good little spot and obviously it's fully protected uh, we're probably about 20 minutes from getting there and we're probably gonna lose the light but we'll throw a little time lapse on see if you guys like it but yeah we're heading there now well good morning guys it is 6 40 in the morning we've been running for about 40 minutes um, we have just rounded West End and we're about to go onto the bank here. We got a 48 nautical mile run here to Great Sail K. Um, but we have essentially just now completed a full circle of Grand Bahama and the Abacos. We have completed our loop. <laughs> so I didn't think we'd ever be doing that, but we actually have now. So yeah, we're, uh, we're just about to get onto the bank now and settle in for our run. As you can see, still got the bed head, just woke up, I'm still in my pajamas. And uh, just trying to get an early start here so that we can get to a beach at Great Sail Cape for the doggies to have a walk. So, should have light winds just forward of the beam. We might be able to do some motor sailing, we'll see how we go. But as you can see, it's gonna be another beautiful day here. Um, we've been very, very fortunate to have some nice settled days finally in the Bahamas. So, all right, we're gonna settle in now. We'll check in with you guys in a bit. And there you go. We are sailing engines off. We are sailing across the Grand Bahama Bank to Great Sail K. We are averaging five and a half knots in 12 knots of wind. Well, good evening. We have made it to Great Sail K. It was a pretty good passage, a huge day. Took us, uh, what did it take us? Just under nine hours. We did 50 miles. We went from just around the corner West End all the way across the bank here to Great Sail K. We're anchored on the northwestern corner. It's absolutely stunning. It's a lake. As you can see, we're in eight feet of water. Um, we sailed half the passage, which was really cool. We weren't expecting that. We thought we might have to motor most of it. So pretty happy about that. Um, tomorrow, a much smaller day and the last of our big passages, so to speak. Um, we got about 28 nautical miles. We're gonna go to a place called Allen's Pensacola. We didn't even get a chance to stop there last time because of the weather. So super stoked. Now we're just gonna enjoy a sundowner because these sunsets never get old. We'll leave you with that. If you'd like to be a part of the journey and become a patron, go to the link you see here on the screen. Another way you can support us is by hitting that subscribe button.